vocalist, main vocalist, and lead guitar player in the band. My name is Steve. I am uh, a backup vocalist, kind of. <laughs> Sometimes. And I'm also lead guitarist in the band. What kind of music has influenced you? Um, <laughs> going back, uh, I was a huge... The first thing I ever got into was... Uh, what was Foo Fighters. No, <laughs> the first thing. Anyway, first thing I got to do, I was a huge ACDC fan, like, die, I knew literally every chord, every note in every song that they ever played, and that's not an exaggeration. I played it at top volume in my room and pretended to be Angus Young my whole childhood, and that kind of, that's where I learned to play guitar. And uh, nowadays, I'm, I'm just the biggest ever anything Dave Grohl, Foo Fighters, uh, huge Queens of Stone Age fan, um, Pixies is huge influence for me. Yeah, that's me. What about you, bro? I'm, I'm, I like, yeah, all those bands kick ass. Uh, I, I really got into rock and roll with Foo Fighters. I was into, uh, I was into a bunch of Linkin Park and, you know, stuff back in, back in high school. That's what I used to listen to on the bus with my Walkman and now I, uh, now I listen to like Foo Fighters. I I love the Arkells. Colorado is one of my favorites. Nice. Uh, I love I love like the local Toronto bands going to the concerts like that. But yeah, cool. I, I love it all. Do you guys have a pre-show ritual? <laughs> we're not we're not big enough to have a pre-show ritual. We uh, our our pre-show ritual is setting up and hoping that Colin has printed out a set list for us. <laughs> <laughs> Colin being our uh, drummer who's not here right now. Uh, yeah, we, we're not big enough to have dressing rooms yeah. yet. So we're basically, we, we've set everything up as fast as we can. Uh, as soon as we're ready to go, we look back at Colin and be like, do you know what song we're going to play? Because like, none of us have any clue. Our ritual is exactly what you see when you come to see us. It's, yeah. You're looking at us, that's it. Do you guys have a favorite place to perform and why? That's fun. God. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is an easy question for like... Huge bands. We, we played a set yeah. at the Hard Rock Cafe in Toronto. I, yeah, okay, yeah. Oh man, that was that was probably the most fun I've had in this band so far. That, that was cool. Was we're, we're not from. I'm personally, I'm from the country, so I'm not like. Uh, I'm not. I haven't been to the city too many times to for it to be not awesome every time I go there. <laughs> so when we went, it was like a whole deal. We parked out front, loaded our gear, parked in the huge parking garage, and like we felt just really city life. Yeah. And then going upstairs and then rocking out and then finishing up and just like hanging out outside downtown Toronto, man. It felt like big shots. It was awesome. Yeah, I have to say. Yeah, definitely. Hard rock. <laughs> Thank you. If you could tour with any band, what would it be? Oh, any band. Paul McCartney and Wings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He's uh, good. Really, at our at our level, I, my, one of my favorite bands is Colorado, and I would love to play with Colorado if they came through. That would be a that's a small time dream. But it, like, if we're talking ever on on the planet, on the planet, <laughs> holy crap! Yeah, these are the hard questions. I'm a big, I'm huge Foo Fighters. Anything Dave Grohl. If I could just be in the same room as Dave Grohl, I'd probably start crying. So that's me. Yeah. So that that me would too. Be, I probably would too. That's so. that's a little that's a reach, but. So Foo Fighters, that's our answer. All right, cool. What is the overall theme with your music? Um, well, basically, I uh, I write a lot of the stuff, and um, I'm very music, melody, bass. That's what comes first. Lyrics are very. A lot of times, lyrics are literally like I'm not even. I, I'm not gonna lie. We played a song tonight. It was the second <laughs> song in. We don't have a name for it, and I, I swear to God, I made up 95% of all the vocals that I sang in that song because I just, that's that's kind of the priority you put on lyrics a lot of times. And then at the end, we just put it together. So we don't really have a lot of themes. I mean, the musical theme a lot of time is just like upbeat, high energy rock. It, it needs to be high energy rock, but it can't be too typical. And it can't be too like a lot of this song, the songs here are are high energy, but they're kind of like they bring it down a little bit. Like we want to write songs that 
that uplift you and make you smile and, and make you want to jump around. There's always a chord in our songs that, like... Yeah, we like strange stuff. stuff. I mean, and that's the that's the Dave Grohl Pixies kind of stuff coming out in it. You know? yeah, it's cool. How do you guys feel about working with Jamie from 91X? He is like the happiest guy I've met in a long time. Every time I talk to him, man. he's so excited. I love it. He's a good man. I, tonight went off without a hitch, uh, <laughs> and that's a testament to him. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't want to be him. I see him zipping around the place. He's got like a hundred things to do, so. It's too much planning. We all just sit back and just hope that he has it all under control, so. There's another Cross show. for Jamie, he's the man. Give him a raise. Uh, anything you guys would like to add? Buy our CD, it's on <laughs> iTunes and Amazon, and uh, we're on Facebook and Blue Suit Jacket. Like our Facebook page, uh, it's... And we will like yours. We will like... <laughs> we're really easy that way. If you like us, we will like you. You don't want to know the stuff we'll do. And Steve's single. We'll do... Hey! Hey! <laughs> What's up? <laughs>